Okay, so this is a different type of question where you have a box and you've got two different strings at different angles. So one of the strings is 20 degrees from the vertical. The other string is 30 degrees from the vertical. And we want to find the tension in each part of the string. Okay, so you could take this as one piece of string that's like connected to the box. But because they're at different angles, they will each have different tensions. And the box weighs is 50 newtons. So for this sort of problem, this is again a balanced forces problem. So what we need to do is we're going to need to make two equations, one for the vertical forces and one for the horizontal forces or horizontal components. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just taking my red pen here, I'm going to split T1 into its horizontal and vertical components. So this is going to be the vertical component of T1 and this will be the horizontal component of T1. Okay, so the vertical component of T1 is just going to be T1 cos of 20 because it's next to the angle. So T1 cos 20. And the horizontal component, because it's away from the angle, is just going to be T1 sine 20. And I'm going to do the same with T2. So I'll get a purple and we'll do that. So let's do T2. Now T2 is a bit different because the angle is different, but that's okay. So put that on there. So the vertical component of T2 is just going to be T2 cos 30 again, or cos again, but different angle. And the horizontal component is just going to be T2 sine 30. Now what we're going to do then is now is we're going to set up two equations. We're going to set up the horizontal component and the vertical components in two different equations. So what I'm going to do, let's do the vertical components, okay? So vertical. Okay, so the vertical components are T1 cos 20, T2 cos 30, and 50. Now, there's two of them going this way and one of them going this way. And for it to be balanced, these must be equal. So we must say that T1 cos 20 plus T2 cos 30, I'm running out of room, must be 50. Okay. And then we're going to do the horizontal. So horizontal. And there are only two horizontals. There's T1 sine 20 and T2 sine 30. So they must be equal to each other. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to move this, this one over. Oh, no, that's gone wrong. Hold on. So if I can move this over here just to get it out of the way. So there we go. So T1 sine 20 must equal T2 sine 30. Okay, now what we've got here is we've got two equations and two unknowns. So you may know that in maths, there's a particular method to solve things when there's two equations and two unknowns. It's called simultaneous equations. So what we have to do is we're going to have to sort of rearrange one of these for either T1 or T2 and plug it in there. So let's have a look at what we can do. Actually, there might be a nicer way of doing this one. What I might be able to do, can we use elimination? Um, we could possibly use elimination. I'm going to use substitution method. So what I'll do is I'll rearrange this one. So we're going to get T1 is T2 sine 30. And I just rearrange for T1 just for ease. It doesn't matter. Divided by sine 20. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug this one into here. Um, and actually, I've thought of a better way. 
Um, instead of rearrange it, I'm going to actually work out what sine 30 and sine 20 are. Apologies, let's do it that way. I think that's easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these two so I know where they are. So cos of 20 is 0.94. So I'm going to say it's point to change it so it's 0 0.94 T1. Now if you're doing this properly, what you should do, you shouldn't round, you should use the full value to the end, but for space, I'm going to have to round. So then I've got cos 30. So T0 0.87 T2. So cos 30 is 0.87. Um, and then we've got sine 20. Now if I was being smart here, cos of 30 is it's just a third value, so you could leave it like that if you're if you're quick with the knowing what causes of 30 and sines of 60 and things like that are, you can leave them as thirds. But then I'm just going to evaluate this one. So then we've got sine of 20. So then we've got 0 0.34 T1. Sorry, that was equal to 50. And then plus or equals to rather equals to so sine 30 is 0.5 okay oh yeah of course nice so 0.5 t2 okay so then what we can do is we can rearrange one of these and plug it into the other one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my two equations like that and then I'm going to go to the next page so let's copy that Let's paste that here, drag it over there. Okay, so we carry on. So I'm going to rearrange this one so that T1 can be plugged into here. Um, we could also use elimination on this one. Um, might be a nicer way um, if you've got things like thirds. Um, but because we've got decimals, it might be difficult to find a number that they both uh, go into so we can make the T1s or T2s the same. Um, but if you left them as thirds, it might be a it might be good. You sometimes your calculator might leave them as thirds. Um, okay, so we're going to rearrange for T1. So I'm going to say T1 is 0 0.5 T2 divided by 0 0.34. Okay, and I'm going to plug T1 into that one. So we've got 0 0.94 bracket 0 0.5 T2 over 0 0.34 plus 0 0.87 T2 equals 50. Okay, now I'm going to multiply the tops here to simplify that down, tidy up. So we've got 0 0.5 over 0 0.34 and we're going to times that by 0 0.94. So then we've got 1.38 T2 plus 0 0.87 T2 equals 50. And all you have to do is add them two together. So 1.38 plus 0 0.87, probably can do this in my head, but it doesn't matter. 2.25 T2 equals 50. So rearrange that, so T2 is 50 divided by 2.25. 22.2 so 22 newtons um, really you should keep the full value of this before you plug it in but we'll find t1 using the 22 so t1 is half times 22 divided by 0 0.34 equals 0 0.5 times 22 divided by 0 0.34 and I get 32 32 newtons. So that's how you find the tension in each part of the string. Um, apologies, it did get a bit messy over here, um, but hopefully you can see the way of doing it. And um, that's how you solve problems where there's two different tensions.